Cavalier. Don't know if you got a girl. Don't mean no disrespect. Hey, what's up? Hey, y'all. How y'all been? Y'all been good? We've been good, but, um, anywho, who watched Love Hip Hop yesterday? Or was that? That was Monday, wasn't it? Ooh, Monday, yeah, and today is like what? Today, Thursday. Oh, yeah, who watched Love Hip Hop Monday? And Black Ink. I did. But anyway, yeah. Mm-hmm. We watched it, um, some of the things that, like I say, when I watched it, I wasn't expecting anything what I saw. So I was just like, damn. As far as what well, um, I saw was crap. I thought it was kind of messed up that they sentenced him to 20 years, but he had to serve five. I think the reason why it was messed up is because it was for weed. So like he said, that was pathetic. Not only that, he was an active, he's an active father in his son's lives and everything and to take him away from his sons over some weed I think it's like that's some I think it's some bull so yeah I thought that was messed up I mean five years is better than 20 but still though I mean that's crazy why not put him on probation or anything but he still gotta be on proba probation after all that so I thought it was like mm, only but, a black man huh but still and that's what that's what um that, that's why these guys out here gotta think because you see how this world is set up it's not set up for you. It's not set up for you to, you know what I'm saying? Whether you're active in your child's life and or change your life around or not. It's not, um, it's not for you. So you got to think before you go out here and do this dumb stuff because in the long, in the long run, it'll bite you in your ass. Yes, it will. Mm-hmm. But, um, and now to Miss, uh, Jocelina. Oh, my god mm, 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 mm. she is team pate yes team pate straight petty i mean jocelyn that's my girl but mm -hmm. on, this one, death. on this one i don't even know what to say i'm like i just feel like she was wrong for the simple fact that she's she called mimi the maid like they hadn't made up and like she hadn't you know just face dipped in her twat so you know I just thought it was wrong and it was petty. I mean, yes, yeah, Stevie doing some messed up things, but you knew that when you got with him. So to try to drag Mimi into it because you feel like he uses her, I think that was just like messed up because she's been trying to be a true, genuine friend to you when she doesn't have to be. And who's to say that will work anyway? That, that, that will make her want to get in Stevie J's pockets anyway. As long as he's doing what he's supposed to be doing, it's like Mimi's not having a problem. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not always about financial. Financial helps a lot, but it's not always about financial. And as long as he's there in his child's life, then that might be good for her. You know what I'm saying? But I'll tell you, just like this, I totally, totally understood the lesson that she was trying to teach me. Me, I was here for that, and I did get that lesson. I got that lesson because I'm like this. She would have put that thought in my head, and I went ahead and more child's boy. I'm like this, though. It takes two. Two of us fucked to get this child. So two of us gonna take care of this kid. Now, if the father is doing what he's supposed to be doing financially without the court systems and by all means, y'all go ahead and do it like that. But if he's not doing what he's supposed to do, then guess what? Jocelyn, he would have planted that seed in my head and I'd be going to go ahead and get him on child support because I'd be scared the next female was gonna be trying to get him on child support and that would take away from my child. So I'm like, I definitely got the memo and, and I got the lesson. Me may, promise me, May. Mm. And she was sweating up a storm and I'm like, she did what she had to do to get Stevie Day's sentence, and that's why and say she was pregnant. I mean, what type of logic are these females, even Jocelyn, what type of logic are you all using just for fame? 15 minutes of fame. fame. Mm -mm, I'm not understanding. So, mm -hmm. that 15 minutes of fame had her sweating like I don't know what. Like a. That's, what, like a baby. That's how you knew she was lying. Oh, and about Mama D and Scrappy, you know what? I feel like Mama D need to mind her daggone business and mind her marriage. Because Scrappy is a grown-ass man. And I don't think that he said anything malicious. I don't think that he was trying to be offensive when he said what he said. I got exactly what he was saying. He said it because, like he said, it's some transgenders out here who would not tell what they are. So that's why he said what he said. As far as D Smith getting upset... You should have took it like that unless you're one of the dudes that's tricking these men. Like Deesma said, 
There's a lot of men out here that know they transgender and they go ahead and go with the flow or whatever. But that's not who Scrappy was talking about. So um, and Mama Didi to mind her business on that one because um, <laughs> and told me she want Scrappy to be with Betty Idol. She is a black bimbo. She's a black bimbo. She's dumb. She dumb. <laughs> she is dumb to me, That's all I gotta say. She dumb. She's irritating. And um, black ink. Yeah, I guess we could make this a two sir. But um, black ink. I feel like um. What's up? Well, Donna. Donna. Mm -hmm, this one. Mm -hmm. Donna. She I my boo. I mean, she, she cool and all, but sometimes I feel like she get what she deserves because, like, when she has them all, she been dating this dude that's in jail for, like, what, a year and a half? You don't even know him. And he cheated on you and got, you, got, got a girl pregnant. How many times on you? What is like the second time, whatever, and so you don't notice. So you say so you, I'm putting money on his books and on his commissary and everything like that. Makes you, that makes you dumb too. That makes you dumb. And I feel like I don't know what Sky's intentions was in telling her to go meet with the baby mama because nothing good could have possibly come from that. Because I feel like Donna, you got what you deserve. You had no business going to meet that baby mama. You're not sleeping with the fucking baby mama. You're sleeping with that dude. So you had no business going to her trying to get any information. Now, she she doesn't have to be loyal to you. She don't. If she wants to give you that information, then she can. But you had no business whatsoever calling yourself going to get information from her and then talking about she's delusional. No, she has delusional because you don't want to be with a guy for a year that you barely know. She knows this dude, whatever. And you go go ahead and try to marry him behind bars. I think it's kind of silly. You deserve better than that. You know what I'm saying? Right. So why would you set yourself up to be messing with somebody that's in do? I mean, that that's in jail. A dude that's in jail or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I think it's just stupid. I feel like the girl when she, when the girl snapped or whatever, she had every right to whatever. But she should have known too. It was no good to come of that or whatever. So and what y'all think about Naeem? Mm -hmm. Naeem, his baby mother and everything. To me, I feel like this. She was all up in Donna's face and everything. And she wasn't using her her her, her soft hands or, or to, you know her, her her she wasn't doing but basically she was being disrespectful. I'm just you know being a little bit silly, but she was being disrespectful. And I feel like this. I don't care if you're deaf. You was all up in her face and everything, and you was up in her personal space. She told you to get out of her face and everything, and you didn't do it. And that's what happened. You was bold enough and you was loud enough to go ahead and get in her face and question her like you was up there sleeping with her when you should have been questioning Naeem or anything. And as far as Naeem, oh my God, he acted like a B.I. itch. Because when he started getting mad and trying to go off on Donna, to me that, that oh. And I feel like, I, I feel like he was part of the plan because you, you you didn't tell your baby mother that, that, that um, look, we're having a party for Donna or whatever and she's going to be here and it ain't nothing and it's just a party just to celebrate her starting a new job. He, you didn't say nothing to your baby mother and then to try to have the nerve to go off when you know, and your baby mama told you, I don't like her. I'm going to knock her out, basically. And mm -hmm. Bra Ali and, um... Ooh, mm -hmm. Sky. Mm, 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 mm. Bra, 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 bra. Come on, now. You can't... You got exactly what you deserve. You got exactly what you deserve. I'm sorry. Because who are you? You going from show to show and whatnot, like Yandy said. And you did trying to do what? You trying to do what? No. No. Mm -mm. You got exactly what you deserve. And you got your ass dragged all over the damn floor and mopped up. Plain and simple. Yeah. Well, this is going on. Mm -hmm. So. So on that note, um. We're going to see y'all later. And, um. If y'all like this video, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Share it if you like. Mm-hmm. You watched it, so you might as well go ahead and rate it and comment and yeah. And on that note, deuces.